Well, it's election time around these parts. We have a ballot full of judges coming up for election at the end of August. I already got my mail-in ballot this week, and along with it, there's been a load, a regular load of oversized campaign advertisements stuffed in my mailbox every day. How timely that they should all arrive right when my ballot does. I have never given judges much thought. I haven't had to hang around in a courtroom very much in my lifetime. But I have to think that they must hate having the campaign. It's so unjudge-like. I think of them like some meds I have to take. I really want a pill that works hard in my favor when I have something gone wrong. But don't ask me to spend any time reading about medicines to any extent unless I really need one. Judges must be like a pill that you have to swallow when you're sick or in court, and you need help. Otherwise, you couldn't care less. So, here are all these stereotypically stuffy, black-robed people running around the neighborhood, posting signs on walls, banging them into the roadside patches of dirt, and rushing off to the post office with stacks of eight and a half by 11 postcards touting what a gift they are to the great American judicial system. Well, speaking of direct mail, the stuff these guys and gals are sending out, they're they're kind of ridiculous. They all must have watched the same How to Make a Direct Mail ad for your election campaign video on YouTube because they all sent out virtually the same kind of postcard. These clones even have the same vote by mail early or on August 28th line. It's permanently appearing on every one of them. They all have a meaningful pitch line right underneath their names, Deep Roots in Our Community, or Endorsed by the Sun Sentinel in Our Community Organizations. Now, of course, there are always pictures of them appearing judgmental in their traditional robes, and then there's a few with the family, including the dog. (laughs) I wonder if it's really their dog or if they rent one from the photographer. Well, the pity of all this is that the voter, more than likely, takes these cards and tosses them in the trash can, hardly taking a glance at them, unless, of course, there's nothing else on the table while they're eating their bowl of puffed wheat. No one wants to take the time to read all this stuff just so they can decide which judge to vote for. Most people are simply apathetic about voting for a judge and don't want to take the time to study whom they should vote for. Our democracy not at work, at least when it comes to judges. I don't know how to remedy the situation. Most folks have never heard of these people. Most don't want to spend time learning about them, unless, of course, they're Judge Judy. (laughs) Now, Judge Judy has to run a totally different kind of campaign. She just has to keep up her ratings, and she gets voted on and a new contract every year. Maybe more judges have to get their own TV shows if they want people to recognize and vote for them. Hey, There could be something here, a channel with nothing but judges that runs 24-7. All judges all the time. Just think attorneys would spend a fortune buying time to run their commercials. Hey, I may be onto something here. Yeah, I know. Go tell it to the judge. (laughs) I'm Mark Kuhn. Thanks for listening.